Peterbilt 389 with a flat bed that usually haul pipes but uh, it's gonna get a tank put on it right now by the by a front loader with forks on it instead of the dump bucket that it usually would have on it and that Peterbilt 389 is I want to say a legacy edition that has the chrome front fenders and the chrome around the hood around the logo on the hood and a little bit of chrome pieces here and there that are a little different that you can't get from a uh, you know get with a regular 389 Peterbilt gotta get it straight on there back end is hanging off a little bit and I am still getting loaded with some empty totes and that's it unless he's gonna get the other one put on there I think there's another tank back there but that might go on another flatbed look at that that was dope So he would chain this down or strap this down, and um, that would be that. But I think, yep, he's going to get the other tank too, if y'all can see in my side mirror right there. It won't let me zoom in, but I'll just do this. dust blowing around here he's coming in my side mirror as you can see backing up but he's right here it's like that so that pretty cool I thought y'all like that I like it you know what I'm saying loader is so heavy it could get down in that mud as you can see it's not very much mud it's just surface mud but probably for a truck like mine or that one this Peterbilt over here we might get stuck but the payloader ain't gonna get stuck and even if it did it could just use its forks and back itself out push itself out look at that tank number two that's pretty cool so he looked like those are some silo tanks and um, you see those pieces of wood he's picking up he usually would put that in the you know on the sides of his trailer to haul those uh, pipes to keep the pipes in on his trailer besides strapping them but in this case, they're still going to be put back on the side so he don't have to store them anywhere else. But as a whole, they're not going to be what's holding those tanks on his trailer. He'll have to strap or chain those down and then he'll be good to go. <laughs> That's really dope, man. Splash, splash, splash splash in the mud and as you can see over here we have the crane truck it's gonna pick up something and move it around and then we have this truck over here that is also a, a winch truck that is backing up a piece of uh, container office type control room and they're just gonna place it over there out the way what they're doing is once again a seven year inspection 
of the oil rig, which was right there. It's starting to come down, be broke down. And they have to inspect everything to make sure everything's good and then put it all back together. So we have a crane over there, the yellow crane, moving about, moving machinery around. We have this crane truck, which is gonna hook up to this container control room module, pick it up and help lift it off the winch truck. And they're gonna set it over to the side as you got a guy on top of the winch truck helping back up the crane truck in position to lift that container module control room thingy up up off the winch truck and set it on the ground. And the flatbed is just gonna back up out of out of the way. He's not gonna chain up right now. He's gonna get out the way so another truck can get back there and pick up another piece of this oil rig and um, thus keep everything moving. As you can see, the nose of him disappearing behind the rig, oil rig back there. And if you look at my side mirror, you can see the person who's loading me up, which as I go like that, that's him right there. He just turned it around, grabbing some stuff. And he may be moving some stuff out the way to better get to some stuff. And way out there, you can see the uh, front loader telling another truck to follow him so he can go ahead and get him loaded up and out of there. That Peterbilt is a 387 as well. Looks like another Legacy. And it is, and it has a drop deck flatbed trailer instead of a normal flatbed. And so he has a little step down, if you would, to his trailer. But he hauls pipes too. Sorry, y'all, it just kind of zoned out a little bit. So it looks like he's going to be getting a piece of machine or a piece of the oil rig right there next to the oil rig. We'll see what it is when the front loader picks it up. Well, if he didn't pick nothing up, maybe he just moved something out the way. Oh, well, it might be something from over here as the front loader is coming right towards us. I guess it's some stuff from back there was still get picked up. Or he's dragging that hose out the way. But here comes that other Peterbilt. There's a step deck as you can see or a drop deck flatbed. And that engine fan is on. That's why all that smoke and dirt is kicking up because he got his AC on. So mine is on too. As you can see on my dash. See that right there? That's that engine fan going. And it's going to turn off just like that. And it's keeping my engine cool. But that's what he's about to put on his trailer. Some hoses in a steel cage. push it up on his trailer so it's not hanging off the side let's look at that truck that Peterbilt Legacy 389 
Unibill sleeper, just like mine. I got the Unibill sleeper, but it's a uh, 589 Peterbilt. And here's a look at the uh, the winch truck right here coming right at us, a Kenworth T800. And he's getting in position to get that okay. piece directly behind him. And the crane is coming close to us as well, so that well, I gotta tilt it up to get the whole entire crane in view to help lift that piece up off the ground so the winch truck don't have to do so much trying to get it as you see the crane coming over. Also, that's the crane truck and that piece is already on the ground. Pretty cool. So, still getting in position. Almost there. And then over here, we got the dude. We got some more stuff. As you can see, that looks like a little tank filled with something flammable he's going to put on this man's trailer with those hoses. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now at this oil rig site. Sometimes it be like that. This is going to be a balancing act to get this uh, tank up there without it falling off. And it looks like he got it. He has it because only one fork can get under there. So he has to pick it up just at the right spot. And that just happened. And he set it up there with no problem, folks. Just like that, man. Got it on there. And he's straightening it out for him. I imagine he's not just going to get those two items. He's going to get some more stuff put on his trailer as well. Winch truck is still working on trying to pick up this piece. If he can't get it, then of course the crane is right there to assist. And over here, we have the crane truck just waiting to see if he needs to assist some kind of way as well. So, yeah, man. Bring in another piece to put on this man's trailer. back into position in frame like I said he is not getting stuck in the mud he just like moves it out the way <laughs> that's probably gonna be it on his trailer maybe he might get one more piece He might put one more piece on him and then he'll be fully loaded because that's all he can do. It's going to be the little old piece too. It ain't going to be no big old other piece. He ain't got much room left on his trailer. See that? Throw the strap over it, strap it down. It ain't going to go nowhere. And because it's such a, you know, couple of little pieces don't weigh that much you can throw one strap over it and it'd be straight instead of two or three and all that other stuff so check this out they're going to lift this up from the back and what they're doing is moving it out the way and the winch truck is keeping it from swinging by it being also pulled by the winch truck 
so close to the back of it that if it does swing, it's just going to hit the back of the winch truck, which is going to be okay. So that is how the crane is assisting the winch truck right now. And then this dude right here, just flip that over so that it can ride the way it needs to ride. So, winch truck is like literally at our nose right here. But yeah, they moved that piece right on out the way, y'all. So, oh, they about to load that piece onto a truck that's backing up next to that crane truck. And then we go back to over here. Man. Pick it up with that one fork. Oh, you don't quite got it. You got it now. Nope. Just gotta get it in the right spot. Maybe straight. Oh, you got it. pick that up and set it over there but let's see look at that, that crane coming closer to us but as you can see you got the uh, heavy haul truck over there picking up the module container and winching it onto his trailer and he just about got it up off the ground and that's gonna be that man and it's off the ground, it's on that trailer. And he's just gonna winch it up, winch it up. Probably just over the rear tires of the trailer there. He gonna strap it down, or ch excuse me, chain it down. And he gonna be gone. He gonna be up out of here. So that's pretty cool. Yep, that's it right there. And he gonna roll out, look at that. That's how you get it done, people. But he just moved out the way so that he not in the way. And then he got him loaded. Now he might get one more piece back here because it must be really small. small piece see it in my side mirror scooped it up as he's bringing that back to put it on the flatbed there's the winch truck in front of us getting the piece picked off the ground by the crane to put on to the winch truck he's gonna winch it up a little bit so it's off the ground and then he's gonna move it on out the way His engine fan kicked on, that's why all the dust is flying and dirt. There goes that module way over there. He's leaving with it. Gonna pull to the side, chain it down. Cranes moving in position or moving away. Give the winch truck some room.
front loader leave me to finish loading up that truck. A lot of times they don't want you to record in here, but I don't think nobody cares. They know it's pretty cool what they're doing, so a lot of people going to be like, yo, look at that. Record that. As you can see. Look at that. Got a whole situation. Whoa, that thing moved a little bit. So it's going to winch it up a little bit more. Go back that thing up, maybe. Because you can't... Uh, Still dragging the ground back there a little bit, but it's off the ground for the most part. And he's trying to maneuver and not hit these little trucks over here. So yeah, let's look at what he did over here. So the other little piece he put right there, right behind the sleeper of the truck. That was the last piece. His whole truck is loaded. got a spotter to help him back up and this thing is rocking y'all on this truck so I gotta be watching out for myself so yeah, that mug don't tippy tip because if it do I'm jumping out this thing as fast as I can and running so if it land on Carolina blue it just lands on her you feel me that's what we got insurance for Thus, I'll be getting a new truck because this truck will be totaled at that point. <laughs> Shoot. That's just it. He's still helping him back up so he can get out. Because this truck don't turn that well, as you can see. It's so long wheel based. But it has to be as a winch truck. So... it on out. Uh-oh. And I think what he's doing is winching it up just enough uh, in case so that uh, if it's harder for him to turn, you put a little bit more weight on the truck so the truck uh, steer tires can dig more into the ground to help turn that witch truck. So, and then we're going to see another truck come through probably and pick that piece up and take it on out of here. And we have the crane truck, or the crane, excuse me, and the crane truck. Let's see how far as we tilt up. Man. Still rocking, rocking, rocking. That's got to not feel good. I know that much. Being in the truck, moving that mess around, shoot. That'd be kind of scary, y'all. Because you'd be like, oh man, this thing going to fall. It's going to tip over. But just take your time. Everything should be good. And it is, y'all. He's in position. So that is great. Okay, he's getting ready to set that thing down. As it's on the ground now, he's going to pull out from underneath it. And the drop deck is going to be backing out and leaving as he has his load already uh, strapped up so he can leave. He ain't even got to stop. He's going to just hit the highway so then we got the crane truck backing up to help take that module piece off of that winch truck they will get up there and hook it up those winch trucks and crane trucks are not 
short trucks. They're pretty tall, so as you just saw the worker climb up on there, that's pretty high for, <laughs> for somebody to be climbing up, believe it or not. Then we got the crane, man. Going somewhere, moving over somewhere, probably to get this other piece over here on the side as the step deck Peter Bill is getting out of here. He backing up. And the reason why he has to back up because I'm in the way and they don't want nobody to go through this mud right here. This big old mud pile. Because they don't want to run the risk of somebody getting stuck. So, which is understandable. So, y'all, as I'm sitting over here, I'm not sitting over here just because, man, I am getting loaded myself. As you can see, there's a... Uh, it have got it all the ground all the way. And, uh, look like this gonna be a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more trucks. Not counting that uh, eight eight truck to pick that uh, module up, but pretty much I already got it all broke down. Let's see what I'm getting. So I'm getting those white totes back there. It carries chemicals in it. Sometimes you can put water in it. Some people cut the tops off of them, make them trash cans and stuff like that. Or if you live in the country, you'll cut the tops off of them and you'll set your trash inside of there so that animals, you know, if they did get into it, all the trash would still be in one place and not all over the ground. And you might see let me grab my, let me grab my, my hat here. You gotta have your hard hat on. I got a vest on too. As I walk back here, you're gonna see the loader right here getting totes for me. That's the loader. And look. That's what we getting loaded with, y'all. So anyway, I'm out, man. God bless y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all liked it. This is your boy, J-Dub, at the uh, oil rig site. And uh, we're going to finish getting loaded. And then, we going to get on this road and get out of here. <laughs> So we back at Carolina Blue. Got the winch truck next to me. And uh, the crane is up over there. So he's going to back up and get that piece right there right where the crane is sitting next to alright y'all peace